So it's the first Elite 2 race of the weekend and the French motorsport enthusiasts are ready to see another great race. We have Guillaume de Flandre, car number 56, on pole, ahead of Jean-Marco Acoli in car number 9. Also Steens Long in there in car number 11. Thomas Ferrando starts in 4th and Philip Lietz, car number 67, all the way back in 10th place. Not great for him at all. So... All the cars lining up on the grid, the mechanics doing the last bits of activity and uh, last changes to the car as they follow the course car round, yellow flags waving, trying to generate as much temperature in the car as possible in those tyres, heat them up for this 75 lap race. Around they go, some weaving, trying to get into position ready, in goes the safety car, in goes the course car and we're about to race. And Guillaume de Flandre, car number 56, takes a whole shot ahead of Ecoli, Longen and Ferrando. Fantastic start. Ecoli misses the apex, so in turn number one. And Longen and Ferrando have overtaken him. So on lap number one, it is now car number 56. That is de Flandre ahead of car number 11, Steens Longen. We also have car number 37 up there. That is Thomas Ferrando. And then number nine belonging to Gianmarco Ercoli. That's the way it stands. So we have a look at the battle of first place. Cars getting very tight behind in second and third, but first place starting to lead away. Really starting to pull a gap, which is great to see. And further back, the battle of fifth, we have got Pierre Rocher ahead of Ulysses Del So, not much of a gap at all, on board with Rocher right now. He is in fifth place ahead of him, you can see Longen and just behind the Flandre as well. A bit of a gap to make up, but some great fighting ahead. So the battle for first place, oh he's done him on the inside there. 11, that is Steens Longen overtaking the Flandre there on the inside. Great manoeuvre and takes first place. On board we go again now, this time with Rocher in the uh, Rookie Cup race leader and first rookie, Steens Long is ahead now of Teneo Arroyo. And this is the battle for third place. Ercoli, number nine, locks his brakes, contact with Ferrando, but it works and he is now ahead of Thomas Ferrando. But Ferrando not giving up straight on the back of Ercoli, not giving him an inch. Let's have a quick look now at the gentleman trophy. This is Stefan Sabat there in car number 55. He's the first gentleman and he's back in the series this weekend. Great to see him too. He is ahead of this man in car 78, Jerry Devert. Back to the battle with third place. This is Thomas Ferrando in car number 37 ahead of Gianmarco Acoli. We go on board right now with Pierre Rocher and a bit of a gap uh, for him to make up, as we can see, but right behind Rocher in car number four is a huge battle, a huge run of cars with Ulysses Del So. Who else have we got in there? We've got Tineo Arroyo Salvador in there too, Philip Lietz, and also Nicky Peterson. Oh, and a spin, a spin for, we saw him a few seconds ago, Stefan Sabat just there. He has spun, he should be able to continue, but the safety car is going to have to come out, which means we'll have a restart. So lap 20, the yellow flags being waved. Oh, and there is contact straight away. Long and Lise de Flandre and Ferrando. The Belgians should be on the outside line. The restart was aborted. The yellow flags are on. Long and slowed down. De Flandre didn't, and the leaders collide under the yellow. So let's have a quick look right now. De Flandre on the inside line. On the right, you can see the lights, but De Flandre didn't. In fact, De Flandre's radio doesn't work, so that's a black flag for him for safety reasons. Oh, bad luck there for the Pullman. And Longham was lucky as well because he managed to get back on track too. So a, another restart then on lap number 30. So who do we have? Well, I'll tell you what, the one who's leading is Steens Longham right now. And what a restart for Steens Longham while behind Ferrando takes second ahead of Air Coley. What a fantastic fight we're having so far in the Elite Twos. And the battle of fourth is also pretty strong too. Three cars for the battle of fourth place. We have got in the air, Pierre Roche, and then we have got Ulysses Del So and car number 67 belonging to Philip Lietz. We're looking at the race leader right now, but this battle is pretty strong throughout the pack. Car number four, there is Pierre Roche. You can see him. He is just ahead of the other two. Qualifying in 10th place, Lietz in car number 67 is now up 
to sixth place. And you can see him right on the coattails now of car number three, Ulysses Del So. Fantastic. So we've got two bunches now, the top three, and then the next three or four cars right behind. Tight racing as always in the Whelan Euro Series for the NASCAR. Here we see Didier Beck. He's the legend trophy leader. We go on board now of Didier Beck. He's ahead of Eric Dodonka in car number 98 and Leonard Vernet in car number two. So tight racing here throughout the entire pack. We're back to the race leader then. Car number 11 belonging to Steens Long, and he is ahead of car 37. That is Thomas Ferrando, and then Gianmarco Acoli in car number nine. You can really see the gap there now starting to close as they start to pull up to the back markers, trying to get their way through as safely and as quickly as they can. And it looks like it's been good news there for Ferrando. He seems to have made up a bit of, a bit of space there. He is right on the back now of Steens Long and using the back markers very much to his advantage. Yellow flags being waved though, which means the cars are going to start slowing down. Not sure what ah, That'll be why there is a cone out on the track. That's going to have to be cleared away. So out comes the safety car, which means the pack is all going to bunch back up again and any advantage is now really back to zero. So the restart on lap 55, only 20 laps to go. We can see race leader there, Steens Long, and just on the outside of him is Brando and behind is Ercoli too. And a great restart there for Long and, and for Ercoli, car number nine, who dives in on the inside to take it from Thomas Brando. Lietz is in car number... Well, he's in fourth place, I should say, in car number 67, the green car. You could just make it out right now. Right on the back of Ferrando, putting so much pressure on him, as you can see, doing all he can to put Ferrando off, who has lost a couple of positions and will not be happy with that one little bit. So he's got some attacking to do, Ferrando, trying to get some drive, trying to get a bit of draft and slipstream from the cars ahead. But right behind him, he's got a very, very tricky Liette doing all he can to draft up as well. In the Lady Cup then, this lady, Carol Perrin, car 54, she leads the Lady Cup ahead of Francesca Lenosi in car number 99. There she is. And Gabriella Prado in car number 21. Fantastic driving from the ladies as well. Top three then, it is Steens Longen ahead of Gianmarco Acoli and then it's Thomas Verando. There is all to play for. Look how close they are as they go around for the last lap. The battle for second then is between Thomas Verando and Gianmarco Acoli. Stings Longen is ahead of them both and is just going to go around two more turns and it'll be his race. He goes around as you can see. A couple of back markers not going to get in the way this time and around he goes. A fantastic win for Stings Longen. Del so has overtaken to Donka, a back marker. An amazing first career win for the rookie Stings Longen. One year after his debut in the series. Second place for Acoli ahead of Ferrando. Didier Beck wins the Legend Trophy. Carol Perrin, car 54, wins the Lady Cup while well, Jerry DeVert is the best gentleman and huge joy for Steens Longen. Uh, unbelievable. I'm, I'm really happy. I was really chasing all the season for the first time win and now that I got it, I'm so happy, really so happy. So a first win then for Longen who finishes ahead of Gianmarco Acoli and Thomas Ferrando and thanks to his second place, Acoli retakes the lead in the standings just one point ahead of Lietz and Ferrando.